I recently changed up how I fall to sleep every night. So here's what was happening. I was having so much fun watching TV right before bed. So basically I would take all my stressful stuff during the day and I would end my day by laughing, which was awesome. However, I found myself waking up the next morning feeling really anxious. And it was like there were so many things that I had left unprocessed in the previous day. So what I ended up doing was inspired by the words of scriptures in Psalm 4. It says this, Psalm 4, verse 8, In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. You see, before I was allowed to have television in my room, because I'm an adult and I can make that choice, I would just fall asleep talking to God. And it was so peaceful. It was the best way to fall asleep ever. I would talk to him about my day. I would process some hard things. I would tell him about what was great. And I would literally drift off to sleep in his presence. And I think the word of the psalmist is so clear here, that the Lord is our source of peace and he is the source of our safety. So what would it be like for you to end this day falling asleep in the Lord's presence. Everyone has their habits of how they fall asleep. Maybe it's endless scrolling on social media. Maybe it's talking with a spouse before the end of the night. Maybe like me, it's watching TV right before you just close the laptop and fall asleep. What would it look like to you know, put all of those to the side and just try and experiment for a few days of falling asleep in God's presence? As the psalmist says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep for you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. We can't control our circumstances. We can't control what happened to us during the day. We certainly can't control what's gonna happen tomorrow, but we can control the last few moments of our day, being in God's presence, having him give us that safety and security and peace that he offers. I hope that encourages you today.